Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at adding vignettes to shapes and to photos in Illustrator. Before we begin, I want to show you a couple of other places where I teach. I teach over here at Udemy, where I currently have four classes. You can sign up for any of my Udemy classes with a discount if you just use the coupon code YouTube, and that's all in the description below. I also teach at Skillshare and I can offer you at least as good a deal on Skillshare as Skillshare does, sometimes even better. And again, a link to that offer is in the description below. So back here in Illustrator, let's have a look at vignettes. I'm going to drag out a circle and I'm going to fill it with a color, but I'm not going to give it a stroke. I want to add a vignette to it. Now the vignettes are available as gradients here in the swatches panel. So you open up the swatches panel, which of course you can also get to by choosing window and then swatches. I'm going to drop this little library option open here, go to gradients and select vignettes. And these are the vignette options. Now the one I'm going to use is just here. It's the sepia tone vignette. But if I just add it to the shape, then it's going to replace the current fill in the shape. And that's not what I want to do. So I'll just press Control or Command Z. I'll go over here to the Appearance panel, which you can also get to by choosing Window and Appearance. I'm going to add another fill to this shape. And this fill is going to become our vignette. So just click here on the Vignette option. Now you can see that we can see through the vignette itself to the original fill for the shape. If this fill is too heavy, then you can just click this disclosure triangle to get to the opacity and the blend mode for this fill alone. This is not the entire shape, it's just for the fill. Let's click here on opacity. I'm going to drop this down to a less opaque sort of fill and you can also blend it. So if you could, for example, use the multiply blend mode. So there is a way of getting access to vignettes in Illustrator for shapes. You'll just want to make sure that you add another fill to the shape. Otherwise, the vignette is going to replace the current fill. Now, I also have an image already here in my Illustrator document. Now, this has been embedded. That's really critical that you embed it, that you don't link it. Otherwise, this is not going to work. Now, I'm going to drag out a circle because I want to clip this photo to a circular shape. So let me just drag out a circle. Now, it's gone in with the vignette applied to it. But since this shape is going to be sacrificed in the clipping process, I can just ignore that. Let's select over the photo and the clipping shape. Choose Object, Clipping Mask, Make. And now we've clipped or cut the photograph to the circular shape. Now, if I want to add a vignette to it, it's a little bit different here with photos. This is what you're going to do. You'll open up the clipping group that contains not only the photograph this rectangular image here, but also the clipping object. And what you want to do is just target the photograph alone. And you need to add another shape to this. And what I'm going to do is add a circular shape because I've clipped it to a circle. So I'll first go to the Appearance panel. I'm going to click to add a new fill. And this fill is going to be a circular shape. So I'll choose Effect and then Convert to Shape and then Ellipse. And I'm going to set it to relative, so it's the same size as the original one. But I'm going to set the extra width to 0 and 0, so it's not any larger. And I'll click OK. So what we've got here is a filled circle over the top of our rectangular shape, which has been clipped to a circular shape, if that's not a little bit confusing. So let's target our filled shape. And now let's go and apply our sepia tone vignette. Now the sepia tone vignette is not really acting too much like a vignette right now. So with it targeted, I'm going here to the gradient tool. I'm just going to drag out this gradient from the middle of the circle just to the edge. And it's going to work a little bit better then. Let's also go to the gradient panel. Let's make some changes to our vignette. I'm going to click this gradient stop. And I'm going to drag it all the way over here. And I'm going to set it to 0% at that point. So that means the middle of the vignette is now going to be totally see-through. And I can just kick down these values. I think they're a bit high. So I'm going to start dropping these down probably by about 30% each. Oops, ended up with an extra one there. And let's just drop this down to about 60 and again, let's just make sure that the vignette is looking the way we want it to. 
So let's go to the appearance panel, turn the vignette on and off and you can see that it is affecting this shape and you can continue to work on this gradient to get the best result that you want. You could also blend it for example with the multiply blend mode. So it would be possible to just apply a multiply blend mode and perhaps even a decrease to opacity on the entire vignette and you've still got that vignetting effect, it's just a whole lot more subtle. So there are some ways that you can apply vignettes to shapes in Illustrator just using that vignette gradient but you can also apply it to a clipped bitmap image. I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. I hope you've learned things about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video tutorial, please click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name is Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.